Bhagavad Gita, text 2.55 The Lord of Sri said, O Partha, one who, having renounced all desires born of the mind, is satisfied in the self and by the self, is said to be one whose insight is steady. Footnote 10 Brahman refers to undifferentiated consciousness, which is compared to the halo of God. Both this feature of Godhead and that of the indwelling guide, Paramatma, are aspects of Bhagavan, God himself. Krishna answers Arjuna's questions by explaining the status of the Jivan Mukta, one who is liberated in this life. Jivan Mukti is the penultimate stage of realization. It is followed by Videha Mukti, or the liberation that occurs upon the demise of the realized soul's body. According to Ramanuj Acharya, Krishna's answers appear to be a description of four stages of inner development, beginning with the highest stage and descending to the beginning stage, from Samadhi, Tras, to Pratyahara, withdrawal of the senses from their objects. In the highest stage of Samadhi, all material desires have been uprooted with no possibility of revival. In the next to highest stage, the seeds of one's material tendencies have not yet been destroyed. They exist in the form of subtle hankerings and unconscious predispositions. The sage, in this stage, engages in eliminating them through repeated contemplation of the self and God. In doing so, he consciously controls anger, attachment, fear and the like. Beneath this stage, the sage's mind is not yet mastered. He must practice indifference to the elation and depression of the mind. Lastly, the entry level to enlightened life involves controlling one's senses even when the mind is uncontrolled. While the two stages above this, one involve a mental culture, this beginning stage involves merely the outward control of the senses. Madhusudan Saraswati sees this section as a description of Samadhi, and coming out of Samadhi owing to the influence of one's manifest, Parapta Karma. In this understanding, the subsequent verses that describe the sages talking, sitting, and walking represent his coming out of Samadhi. In this verse, Krishna speaks of contentment, Tushtaha, in the midst of renouncing desire. When the desire born of the mind is renounced, the fact that one exhibits contentment is not contradictory, because in this stage the self finds contentment not in the mind, but in the self itself. Mental desires can be renounced because they are not intrinsic to the self, whereas desire itself cannot be, being the very makeup of the self, which is a unit of will. Krishna next describes how a Jivan Mukta speaks or responds to the world, answering the second part of Arjuna's question.